Danny, off the mark for the season, how happy are you with the performance tonight? Uh, it, I just saying to the lads, it's a bit of mixed emotions really because obviously absolutely buzzing and the boys got everything they deserve tonight and unfortunately for us, I don't think they've got everything they deserved in some of the other fixtures but the resilience and character of this team has been outstanding and I know I've sounded like a broken record, I've said it's coming and what a place to come and get it and what, what a performance from every player. Exactly, a few few players have come in, obviously Mo, George, a number of changes obviously with players injured and things like that. And they all did well and they all played their part tonight. We've got, we've, got, we've got a collective goal that we want to achieve as a team and it's, it's, it's a long-term goal, it's not a short-term goal and everyone buys into that and what we've put in place at the club is, is a foundation to build on. Now, granted, obviously the lads got put points on the board, I get that and, 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 and I think tonight was the evidence of that. But when you've got the belief that these boys have got, especially the young lads, because they, they, their heads could turn because they're young, they're naive, but they haven't. They've stayed focused, they've concentrated on what we're doing, they've, they've believed in what we're trying to do. And, and as I said, I thought to the man tonight, they were outstanding. Let's talk about the game from the start. Obviously, pretty even affair, but then you know, a bit of a bizarre opener for them with Rhys Murphy up in scoring. <laughs> I don't think, I've, I've been in football, I've just said to Rob with the BBC, I've been in football a very long time. I've never seen that given, ever. When a, when a forward stands in front of a goalkeeper and blocks his kick, I've never seen that given. And I'm be interested to see what the referee's opinion is. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's ended up being irrelevant, but it could have been catastrophic for us because we, we, the game plan was perfect at the start. We wanted to get the crowd turning. We wanted to hear some of those boos creeping in, and we did that. And then we, 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 we literally said, there's a goal for you, have a head start. But what, what character and resilience from the boys that bounced back and to, to score three goals away from home just shows we, we're actually getting it, we're getting it right and we're starting to create a lot of chances. That was my next question, obviously, you know, like you said, the heads could have gone down, could have sort of, you know, thought, oh, the game's lost already, but they didn't do that. They came back from it and a great bit of work from Alfie and Jaden down the right-hand side to create the equaliser. Well, the passage of play was brilliant and it, it's, it's, I think, the, the, the work ethic of the boys, the, the, the determination they've had in every game, to be honest, barring probably, I'd say, probably 50 or 60 minutes, probably the last 15, 20 against Chesterfield and the first half against um, against Yeovil, they, they've, they've stepped up to the plate every single time and they've, they've, been, they've actually been unlucky. I, I'm not a massive one for luck, but they have been unlucky. You look at some of the goals we've conceded, you just, it beggars belief that that, can, that probably would never ever happen again. Um, but, but look, they bounced back, they showed, they showed their character, they, they stuck to the game plan and and I'm, I'm more happy for them than anyone because they deserved more of this season and they've got everything they deserve tonight. And similar to Notts County, obviously, the second half starts, we find ourselves in an early lead again and we've clearly learnt from the, the errors from Notts County to see out the winners we have tonight. Yeah, and, and I thought we, sh we, we showed some good experience in there. And every, every team we play, we're far too honest at times because every team we play against, I'm, I'm not going to use the word cheat because that would be probably inappropriate, but gamesmanship, yeah, let's use that. The gamesmanship that other teams use against us, we always fall for it. Well, tonight we showed some, and I, I was actually quite proud of them of that, because you, you know that if you can't beat them, join them kind of mentality. Well, do you know what? It works for us at times tonight, and we'll see how that continues. Of course, with the goal, both the players who came in tonight were heavily involved. Obviously, Alfie's ball over the top, Corey's crossed it in for Mo, who gets off the, off the mark for the season. Yeah, and look, great awareness from Corey. Corey was a threat all night. And so was Mo. It was a shame we couldn't keep him on longer, but obviously he's coming back from injury. Um, we, we, we couldn't play West tonight because his programme says he's not available. He's not allowed to play back-to-back -back games in that short period of time at the minute. So it was, again, another reshuffle. We had to look around the pitch and you're looking around the dressing room and, you know what, uh, to the, as I said, and I've said it once and I'll say it probably another hundred times, to the man, they were, they were outstanding. A lot's been made about, obviously, your substitution and your, your timings of it at times, but Jacob's come on and done a job and sealed us the win tonight. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you get a chance to ask him. I actually, when I sat down with him yesterday, I told him the reasons why we were bringing him out of the team, and I also told him when he comes on, he's going to score, because that's what we wanted. We wanted to tire him out, bring him on. He's got great legs, Jay, uh, Jacob. And for me, it, I was just over the moon for him, because some things haven't gone his way, in the sense of some, some of the little touches haven't come off at times, as, as some of the other players. But everything he did when he came on was, was brilliant. Obviously, just another word on obviously Christian playing at centre back, filling in for Kevin. Obviously, Alpha being moved into centre mid. Both both of them did really well today. Yeah, we, we we've got we've got some good utility players in the sense of they're capable of playing multitude of positions. And I, I think Chambo he looks like a seasoned centre back to the last two performances, which is a credit to him because he's not a centre back. 
and, and Alfie were getting him back into his natural position and, and helping to screen that those those three centre halves. And as I said, they, they did that really well. And playing with Jaden and Toby as well, obviously a word out to Toby as well, who again had a really good game tonight, as did everyone. I, I thought the midfield three. I, I can't wait to see their GPS data because the grass they covered tonight. And and I think that's it's a shame that everyone can't see it because. You look at you look at the effort from the boys tonight. They were playing for the badge. That was the message. Let's let's, let's forget everything else. Just run your socks off. I, my message to them was: I don't care what the result is. I want to see real fight, real passion, real determination. And they delivered it to the team. And a little bit disappointing at the end, obviously, for them to get their second goal. But you know, it's a, it's a minor mark on what is a great performance today. Yeah, but it is a mark, and it is. We can't get too carried away because if if we don't score the third, that's an equaliser. In four minutes into injury time, and those little mistakes, they, they, they can hurt you, and they have hurt us in the past. So we we'll, we'll, we need to address that. But you know what? We'll, we'll take the rough and smooth. Just a, just a few special mentions for me. Um, one uh, to David Child. Obviously, he's, we, we know he's, he's had a little bit of a uh, issue with some health, and it was great to see him back at the stadium on Saturday. Um, I, I, Massive credit to Ian Moresman over, over 30 years at the club. I think that's something that needs to be needs to be applauded because that's that's what career that is. Um, and, and a cheeky one to Trevor Best because he uh, he messaged me and said just keep the faith. He's coming and I know you're going to beat Southend because I believe one of his uh, one of his relatives is due to have a baby. And he said that we'll score the goal tonight and and hopefully they'll give birth. So and. As always, our, our travelling supporters were fantastic. So thank you, thank you for sticking with, sticking with us. And hopefully, we can continue that against Wills then on Saturday. Oh yeah, we have to. Uh, that, otherwise, it makes tonight not worth it. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.